my people. Let's continue. So, while on the road to season three, you are going to become more and more familiar with the setting as well as all the rules because we are all going to walk through this together. Um, previously, I gave you an overview of what's to come. I'm more excited than you are. Um, I will be recapping on key events of season one and two. Uh, and we will definitely be zeroing in on character creation because we're all going to do that together. Um, I, I'm going to talk more about punk types so you understand when we're on the same page in regards to that. You understand what, what box your character is going to fall into. Um, but before I start, I'm definitely going to be providing a premise of season three to kind of um, put the environment in perspective for everybody. But while all that's rolling out, we're going to get started building on existing races created by our veteran players. So um, there are already races that were created. And the only thing, the only lore that we have on those races are what the creators submitted when creating them. So there's lots of opportunity to really expand on these existing races. Um, same with districts. We're going to do the same thing with districts. Um, in addition, we are definitely going to be creating three more races as well um, from scratch. And we're going to create some more districts to fill out any types of biomes we already don't have. Um, and this is even a refresher for me because a lot of the times when lore used to come in the old way, as I said, I would just it was like a, a box of toys. It was a, and I would just pull something out whenever I needed it and dropped it in. Uh, but with this more focused and guided approach, every little thing that comes by going forward, we're, we're going to see it. We're going to see it as it's added. Um, and the whole, there's pretty much going to be a whole episode about it. You know what I mean? That's what's going to be really cool. Um, but b by retracing over the current races and the current districts that we already have, it's going to kind of be a refresher to really see what we're working with and what we're going to start out with here. Um, and then we'll just kind of fill it out with new races, new districts um, afterwards. And... Uh, we're going to probably speed this up here because it could take a while to do all of these, but half of PND, just in, gen in general, is the lore building. It's the world building. Um, the world is what the players put into it. So I do want to take our time with it. want to get some really great ideas and a lot of your imagination and your, your wild ideas that I'm seeing in the Discord. We definitely want to get those into the game. Um, so, we're going to be doing a lot of sharing and a lot of voting. We have some new players, and uh, welcome. We're glad you're here. And I, I want to thank the community for welcoming all the new players with open arms and helping them with questions. And for those that are here to build this world up, you're, you're right on time. You're just in time. I'm, I'm happy to inform you also uh, that, that there is a lot to build. Languages laws of science, uh, culture, religion, biomes, territories, from the mundane to the spectacular, magic, fantasy, you'll have plenty of opportunities to get your own creation into the world. So um, we have some new players and I want to welcome you all. I'm really glad you're here. Um, I'm sure the players here are glad uh, that there are some new faces around. And I want to thank you all in the community for welcoming the new players with open arms and helping them with questions. Uh, for those of you that are here to build this world, I am happy to inform you that there is plenty to build. There's a lot to build. Uh, languages, laws of science, uh, cultures, religion, biomes and territories, from the mundane to the spectacular, magic, fantasy. You'll have plenty of opportunities to get your own creation into this world. I mean, we're in season, we're only in season two, and there, there's a lot to really uh, touch on. So let's get started. I'm going to announce one race and one district just to start us off. I'm going to read the current lore for both so we know what to build off of. So try not to conflict with the base lore. And the base lore is what the player submitted when they when they created the, the race or the district um, you'll then head to the website and submit your lore for the race and or the district I encourage you to you know 
submit ideas for both. Um, even if it's just one single idea, I encourage you to to throw it in there because uh, the best part of this is when we start pulling everybody's ideas out and we start to watch this race or this district build up as we add every submission to it and you know yeah so um when you go to the website to fill out the form you'll pretty much be asked to submit five single interesting facts about the race and or district five single interesting facts uh, the goal is for each race and district to have a unique background and I feel an interesting fact can practically be anything so I'm hoping with that freedom and all of your different ways of thinking you know your different creative minds we could end up with some really really uh, really really interesting creations um, so after you're asked for five single interesting facts about the race or district whatever one you're doing You'll then be asked to create and share a notable event or piece of history, something that happened um, about the race or the district. Um, and, and try not to make it too long, but these are going to be what really kind of paint the picture for this for this particular location or this race, just off of the stories that you that you hear about it. Think about like a lot of fantasy. Um, before they ever hear about the race, before they ever see the race, they hear about it. And that can really make you uh, envision the race differently or picture the race differently just based off the stories. Um, and then you go and you finally see the race and it's not what you expected. But it just goes to show you how much how lore and, and mysteries can um, paint a picture of something you've never seen before. And by this being an audio drama everybody's going to have this this how they view these things you know anyway i'm rambling like i said i'm i'm really excited for this as well um third you'll be asked to create an alternate subspecies of that race so as long as the subspecies is similar and share genetics you can get as creative as you like a subspecies is just kind of like where where the species may be branched off of it you know um, and for the district, if you're doing lore for the district, instead, you will be asked to create a unique culture that is only found in that district or originated from that district. Similar to how the Golgan district, you know how we have the Golgan district currently, um, they have a really harsh culture based on contracts, like their, their contract policy, people get killed if they don't fulfill the uh, agreements that they make by way of contract so that's just that was a really odd culture that's only found in uh, Golgan district so you think of that as an example this is an opportunity for us to bring some real culture to the district um, so can you just imagine you know everybody's you know so <clears throat> we're then going to go through the submissions and if we have to we will vote on anything that cannot co coexist or conflict we'll vote on which one's going to stay um and i predict we'll have a lot of facts that go perfect together to submit your lore head to pndrpg.com and select the lore submission section you'll find it and uh maybe even visit the discord to toss around ideas with other players um the link to the pnd discord is in the description box here the Taurusan are a race of G-types who bear more of an animalistic visage than one of a typical G-type, significantly resembling a bull. They originate from Taurusal, a country south of Narsosis. The Taurusans originally spoke the Taurusan language, but most of them who have migrated to Narsosis' megalopolis, Haven City, have all transitioned into speaking the most common languages used in Haven City. Taurusans are a large, muscular humanoid race of Spanish bull-headed G-types and are the tallest and sometimes the hairiest species of G-type in Haven City, making up roughly less than 5% of the population. Only male Taurusans have horns. Now, the player or uh, the creator of this, this lore submission goes by the Dizzy Wizard. Um, he's one of the characters in Gamma Haven. Now, in parentheses, he's, he put that these are Spanish bull people. 
Um, so I would imagine that he imagines them to be some sort of, um, they're, they're Hispanic. We have yet to have anyone create a language, uh, which would be in the culture category. Um, but we like to, we would like to um, come up with a, um, a Hispanic uh, equivalent for Gamma Haven. And we try to do that for, for everything, um, you know, if we can. So, for example, the Dorinthian people, the Doran people, they are based off of Japanese, um, the, the Japanese ethnicity. So keep keep that in mind as well. Um, but yes, the Torosens, Torosens. <laughs> All right. Up next, the Blood Cobble District. The Blood Cobble District is one of Haven's oldest and most dangerous, originating as a trading port back when somebody could still walk from one end of Haven to the other in a day. A sea trade with Haven's neighbors began to fade. Blood Cobble began to fall behind the rest of Haven in terms of technological development and the process becoming a bit of a hideaway location for many criminals looking to avoid detection or stash their wares. Many look at Blood Cobble or Wet Cobble, as it was once called, with nostalgia. Many look at Blood Cobble, or Wet Cobble, as it was once called, with nostalgia, seeing the old-timey tenement buildings, cobblestone streets, and feeble excuses for a power grid as a romantic vision of Haven's past. In truth, Blood Cobble is a ruthless, overcrowded, and messy place where children are often forced to cut purses and plumb trash heaps for food. The power grids are feeble, barely able to keep the lights on most of the time, and the tenements in which most blood cobblers live are disease-ridden and packed to the brim with people who would slit your throat for an extra space on one of the beds. For the most part, Haven's government and population have forgotten about blood cobble, being content to let it rot as the crime rings become more and more influential. The only way out of blood cobble tends to lie in endearing oneself to said crime lords, and more than a few people end up getting roped in the Haven's criminal underbelly on empty promises of a better life down south. Pubs, oftentimes disguised as drug dens, are common meeting places, and blood cobble shimmies, an affectionate term for knife fights, tend to leave bartenders mopping up blood at the end of every day. The creator of this district was Squid Baron or Myra Dyra or Myra Dare. <laughs> um, and in parentheses, they put this district is based heavenly on their love for Godfather 2. I've never seen the movie, but uh, it, it sounds great. It's really rich. Lots of great gems to build on um, in the. Uh, the whole shimmy piece, the knife fights, that, that was a really nice touch. That's the kind of culture that uh, we want every district to have. So this one is coming with um, with that, with a, with a flavor that we can build off of. So you can kind of see the direction he's going. But feel free to add your own thing. Just try to, in respect of the person who created it, try to build off of what they're going for. As, as you can see, his influence was the Godfather 2. So... Um, you know, if you've never seen it, that's fine. You know, at the end of the day, this is still fantasy. It's still cyberpunk. But whatever you're going to add to this district, uh, just keep in mind that people are getting stabbed up in, 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 in pubs. So it's that kind of environment. Um, so hit the like button to spiritually stoke the flames of imagination in the community. The more likes, the more amazing ideas will be created. That's that science. Uh, and that's all for now. Happy world building.